it's April, and as well as the tricks of April Fool's Day, we also have Easter later this month, but before you celebrate, here's another list of the top jams for the month. Let's get real here for a moment, in fact, cut the music. Our planet is in a rough state. We have polluted and damaged it to the point that it's a serious issue, but by working together we can save it before it's too late. One thing you can do is enter this jam, themed around saving the planet, and for every game submitted, the host will be planting a tree to continue protecting the environment. Let's save our Earth before we lose it forever. Dungeon Crawlers First person games with grid based movement and exploration of various locations. This jam is all about them, and although there's a lot of rules, it mostly boils down to make a classic dungeon crawler. Other than that, it's just standard rules, so if you're looking for a nice jam to spend a week on, this could be good for you. Ah yes, clicker games. Games like Cookie Clicker were once a top casual game, before the app stores were filled with hyper casual games. Well this jam gives you a week to make a clicker game, and basically no rules other than follow Itch's terms of service. There'll be a theme, but it's not mandatory, so if that sounds like a perfect jam to you, then click the link in the description. These days, we're used to waiting hours for games to download before playing them, but what if you could just open your web browser and play a game? This is where the gamedev.js jam comes in. You'll have 13 days to make a game that runs in a web browser. For some people, this will be easy, since some engines have native web exports. For others, looking at you Unreal, you might also have to learn another engine quickly. I hope you enjoy all these web games. Ludum Dare. Do I need to say more? It's arguably the biggest jam there is, and the next one starts at the end of the month. For those who don't know, it's a regular jam with two main formats. The Compo is a 48 hour solo marathon, where you must do everything yourself from scratch and share the source code. The Jam is a lot more relaxed, giving you 72 hours, allowing you to work in a team and letting you use pre-made art and audio, although you have to opt out of the categories. So what are you waiting for? There's tons of awesome jams this month, so pick one and start preparing. If you think I've missed an important one, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.